Hi everyone and welcome back to the vlog. This is Susie from Threadquarters. Thanks for joining me again today. I am diving straight back in with the vlogging and I am starting with a new series that is called So The Brand and as I'm sure you can probably figure out, I am picking a brand, looking at the key pieces that they're currently selling for the season and then trying to find suitable patterns and fabrics so that you can recreate the look um, that the brands are offering. So this video is all about Reformation. I love their clothes. They are beautiful um, and really quite uh, unique. And um, I thought, you know what, there's quite a few here that I could pick patterns and fabrics for quite easily. So it's maybe an easy one to get started with. If there are any other brands that you'd like me to try and do this for, then do drop it down in the comments down below. I do have a few in my mind that I will be doing going forward, but I would love your recommendations of brands that you would maybe like to be able to recreate. This actually pairs really well with a sewing challenge that's going on um, in the sewing community on Instagram at the moment, um, run by Charlene and Jen. Um, I will put their Instagram handles down below. And the Instagram challenge is called So Recreate the Look. And of course, it's a very similar concept of um, finding a look that you like. It doesn't have to be from a brand though. It could be another person, a style that you like or something you saw in a magazine or on TV or something like that. But just having a look that you want to recreate and then recreating it yourself. And I'm joining in. I am sponsoring it, by the way. Um, so if you're keen to uh, win uh, some linen from me, um, that's one of the prizes. There's actually loads of prizes. Um, and I am just joining in for a bit of fun. And one of the looks it, that I'm um, suggesting in this video is one I'm actually gonna go ahead and recreate myself. So I'm excited to get started with that. And I'll, when I get to it, I'll show it to you. But without further ado, let's crack on with the first look. So I am gonna be looking down here because I have my laptop here and it's easy for me to look at. You'll be looking on the screen here and magically everything will appear. Right, so for my first look, I have picked this very pretty sundress gingham with beautiful um, floral design. Actually, when you look up close, it's fruit. So there's cherries and apples, I think, and some beautiful like cherry blossom or apple blossom, maybe some butterflies as well on a lovely um, pale pink and white um, gingham. And it's a linen base. As you can see, it's this beautiful uh, deep, deep, deep V-neck little spaghetti straps, the little buttons down the front of the midriff. This sort of got a point up to the top of your bust. Oh, you can't really see what I'm doing there in this shot. And then the gathered um, skirt. Let me just check the... Ah, uh, yes. And then it's tiered. the skirt is tiered, as you can see here. There's a couple of layers um, of extra gathers. Just is really in at the moment, isn't it? Every, every dress has got gathers and ruffles and I am loving it. Okay, so I have chosen New Look 6491 for the pattern uh, matching for this. Um, as you can see, it's got that really deep uh, V at the front with the spaghetti straps. The only main difference that you can spot is that the midriff doesn't have buttons, but I mean, I don't really think those buttons were functional anyway. I think it was more of a design feature, which would be very easy to recreate yourself. Even just sewing some buttons down the center there would be fine. But if you wanted to, you could sew on an extra little placket and create that first before then um, sewing it all together. But it's it's a pretty good shout. Like it's not spot on. None of these are gonna be 100% spot on. That's just the way it is. But if you can use your imagination a little bit and maybe do a little bit of tweaking and hacking, which I don't like that word, um, cause it sounds like you're wrecking your, <laughs> your clothes. But anyway, and then of course it doesn't have the tiered skirt, but it's so easy to add um, tiers, just cutting across the pattern, adding your seam allowances and making each tier just a little bit um, wider. You could try 1.5 of the um, original, the first length, then do the next length 1.5 and again 1.5 timesing the, the length 
that you have of your pattern piece. Um, two for extra, extra ruffles, but I think that would be loads of ruffles. Um, one and a half is probably a good shout. And that, that would be pretty easy to add on. It's just a case of working out where you want to put those ruffles. So uh, I personally, if I was gonna do it, I would just look at the proportions of the original design, bring it up again, and um, just sort of feeling that on your own body. And then again, holding the pattern piece up to you and then sort of putting a mark on the actual pattern piece where you think that ruffle should be and just do it that way. So for the fabric matching, obviously I can't get spot on, but I have found some that I think are quite a good match. You get the general vibe of it. Okay, I've got three pattern, uh, three fabric suggestions for you here, because um, as I said, I couldn't get it spot on, but I did stick with the pink gingham aspect. Um, and so this first one here is from Dalston Mill Fabrics, and it's got the fruit idea behind it with the pink gingham and it's got apples there and cherries there just like the original it's maybe not as cute it does look a little bit more kind of tablecloth-y to me than the original does but could still make a very nice sundress um so there's that one and it's reduced to 5.99 a meter at the moment so bargain as well that would be pretty awesome so there's that one or if you want to spend a little bit more money, you could go to Spoonflower. Um, so this one here, again, the pink gingham, and it's strawberries this time. So not exactly the same as I said, but again, oh, I would make such a fun dress. I really love that. Or if you wanted to veer from the pink, and I found a really cool, um, more sort of floral gingham one here that's yellow gingham. Again, it's on Spoonflower, so a bit pricier to say the least, but you're gonna get exactly what you want, a bit more choice really when you go to Spoonflower, and then you can pick what type of fabric you want to print it on, so you could have it printed on linen if you wanted to. So that's the first look, and um, let's move on to the next one. And for my next look, it is another printed linen, and this one is called the Veronica Wrap Dress, it's beautiful linen, um, lovely white background so it's a wrap dress with a ruffle at the bottom it's got poofy sleeves with some shearing around the base of your sleeves I see it's got bust starts so the pattern that I have picked for recreating this is quite a new pattern to um, the sewing world and it is the Ross Claire wrap dress from Cashmere Act. and the wonderful thing about this pattern is that it is very size inclusive which is wonderful and um, so you can really uh, get exactly what you want now they've got a few different looks they've got a full tiered skirt and um, so if you didn't want if you wanted to make it more like the Reformation then you'd leave one of those tiers out maybe just change the proportions or use the non-tiered version and add a ruffle onto the bottom easy um, and again they've got quite a few different sleeve options and they do have a short um, sort of more poofy <laughs> poofy sleeve but it doesn't have the shearing so maybe add a little bit of length to that pattern piece and then shear that yourself um, sure that yourself sure <laughs> um, yourself to get that look off the Reformation dress I think that's a pretty good shout. So let's see, I've got a really good fabric option for you. It's not spot on, of course, but it is really, really close. Okay, so this is the look I've got, and it's from uh, Sew Me Sunshine, the Petit Fleur. Uh, it's a viscose linen, so it's gonna have really lovely drape to it as well. And it is 450 per half meter, so it's a good price as well. But it does have that lovely white linen uh, background and then the floral print on top. And I think it's beautiful, and I think it would make a really lovely version of the um, Reformation dress. So the next dress I have from Reformation that I think is absolutely stunning is the Denver linen dress. Um, and it has a beautiful sort of curved um, sweetheart neckline, your um, sleeves that are right on the edge of the shoulders, a little bit of a puff, nice fitted bodice, and um, a, a, a panelled skirt with a big uh, split up the, <laughs> the thigh um, in beautiful white linen. The 
The tricky bit is at the back. It's also the most beautiful bit. It has a beautiful shirred back, bit of gathering at, at the skirt underneath it, and then this lovely tie as well. Now, I haven't been able to find a pattern that exactly matches that because that is a very unique feature, but I have been able to find a pattern that I think is a very good shout for everything else, and it is McCall's 8179. We have the beautiful sweetheart neckline, the gathered um, elasticated sleeves that are right on the edge. This one's not as far over, so um, you might be able to hide your bra straps underneath this pattern instead of having to go braless or strapless bra that I think, well, you wouldn't, I don't know what bra you would wear with it because of that back. Uh, maybe one of those ones with the magic crossover type things like that. But the sleeves are a really good shout. Now the version I've shown here has um, a different skirt, but it does have a panelled skirt and then it's got that um, flounce at the bottom. But if you go and look at the line drawings, you can see that there is a version. Um, version B has a normal skirt. I would extend that down and then because it's got the panels, it's very easy to put a slit in that to copy it. So you can see version B has a totally different sleeve. So you would take the the sleeve from version C, add it to the dress part of version um, B. Now, of course, it doesn't have the same back to it and it doesn't have a waist um, seam that the Reformation dress has. It has a very pronounced, on the line drawings, the waist goes in a very pronounced point. So you might be able to hack that pack it, add your seam allowances, so then you have a bodice part and a skirt part, and then at the back, you could try your best at, they've got a, a center zip down the back, um, but if you wanted to try and maybe do a few muslins and just do um, a shirred section with the bottom part of the bodice that you've created, and then the length that you, obviously it has to be wider, so try I don't know, one and a half times what it what it currently is. Um, and then at, make your um, the two center skirt panels, make them the same width and gather that, connect it to the shearing up above. And then you would have your little, um, you would just create two, two tie pieces, tie, sew them onto the either side of the top of your bodice piece and then just do a lovely tie on that. Again, a couple of little tries. I'm not saying that's definitely gonna work, but that's that would be my first attempt. You have other suggestions on how you could hack that pattern to recreate it? Drop them in the comments below because I'm sure people would love to hear what that was. Anyway, for the fabric, I have some of the fabric from the shop because obviously it's just a plain white linen. So I have our beautiful crisp, white quintessential Irish linen in the white or if you're more um, uh, leaning towards an ivory there's the milk bottle which would be perfect as well and this one is the 260 um, weight so a little bit heavier you're going to get lovely um, fitted shape around uh, those panels that I showed you and really nice structure on your sleeves as well um, if you use this. I do have it in the 150 weight as well. If you want something a little lighter, but definitely be careful, obviously with the white and the milk bottle, the lighter one is very sheer. So you'd have to choose your underwear very carefully or else maybe line it in a really, really lightweight cotton uh, voil. Um, that might help as well. Um, but I do think that this, the heavier weight would, would work really nicely with that pattern, okay? So I have two looks left for you. The next one is actually the one that I'm going to try and recreate myself. And it's the Highland linen dress. You can see it here. Um, and it has the beautiful big sleeves with the extra um, elasticated um, midsection and then at the cuff, um, a sheared bodice, and then a lovely long floaty skirt with a big slit. Now my version's not gonna have slit quite as um, high as that, maybe a little bit shorter. 
but I have a really great shout for um, how to recreate it and it's a free option for you as well. If you go on to the By Hand London Instagram account, I'll put the link in the description box. In fact, the links for everything will be in the description box, of course. Um, if you go on to the By Hand London Instagram account and go to their highlights section, they have a sheared dress tutorial that they that um, Elisa Lex ha talks you through exactly how to do the shearing, how to create the sleeves, and um, her theirs is just one long tube essentially, um, and you shear the top part. So I would. I will use that as a base um, to get the basic idea. It's more for the sleeves that I'm using it for and I would just add an extra little um, bit of elastic to create the the more the middle um, gather in the sleeve. Um, but there's a slit so obviously I will tweak it and I think I will have a sheared bodice and then a skirt with um, an off-center panel at the front that I can means that I can then just only sew part of that and then the rest leave open as a um, slit. And if you didn't want to be uh, bothered doing it yourself and want all the hard work done for you, there is actually also a pattern that you can purchase by uh, Victory Patterns. This is Sophia um, Dress. And it's a really good version as well. It's a slightly higher um, uh, neckline. The Reformation one is quite low actually, so it might be something you prefer. Um, but again, a really, really similar style. And of course, um, matching with the Reformation. Now that dress does come in lots of different colors, by the way, um, but I have picked the black one and I've got our beautiful quintessential Irish linen in black. And again, I have this in the 150 and the 260 weight. Um, I am going to um, use the 150 for mine because, I mean, when I hold it up like that, you can see it is quite sheer, but then close up against the body, it's not really. And the lighter weight will work better with the shearing on the bodice. Um, and then just some nude coloured underwear and hopefully that will be me good to go and then of course because it's the lightweight it's going to be a lot cooler to wear um, for the last few days of summer. If you prefer a, a dress with a bit more structure and a bit more weight to it then you could um, use the heavier weight linen. Um, I would do a little bit of practicing of the shearing on the heavier weight linen before you jump into it just to see how it goes and the final dress that i have for the video is the kale linen dress and i've picked the beautiful red linen version here and again it's got that lovely sweetheart neckline spaghetti straps again um, a very very fitted bodice and then the skirt has a um, buttons down the front lovely big buttons I see it has pockets as well and then the back is shared and there are um, even strap extender extenders on the spaghetti strap so you can control the the length of the strap as well this is the Sienna dress from sew over it it's actually from their ebook Summer Dreaming. So it does mean that you have to buy the full ebook to get that one pattern. But actually it's got it's got a lot of really lovely patterns in it. So um, I think it's good value for money if you do like the other patterns as well. And as you can see, it does have buttons all the way down the front of the dress. So again, it's not exactly spot on, but it has the shared back. So you are probably not going to ever undo those buttons. So if you want to recreate the Reformation dress um, quite um, accurately, I think you could, um, obviously with a bit of careful pattern hacking, um, turn the bodice into just a, a plain front. Um, the pockets on this dress is a bit different. You can see it's patch pockets rather than inseam pockets. Very easy to leave off those patch pockets. Very easy to add inseam pockets to anything. One day I will do a tutorial on it, but there are a million on YouTube anyway already. So just go on ahead and search on YouTube and you will find that. The good thing about this pattern is it does have the strap um, extenders on it so it's going to show you how to sew those in and it means you can tweak the length of your straps perfectly 
And then of course we need some fabric to make this beautiful dress in and I have a gorgeous red linen. Again, the quintessential Irish linen. This is the 150 weight. Um, but again, just wear your um, natural color, nude color um, underwear and you should be fine. And with a beautiful red linen sundress. I just think it would absolutely be absolutely gorgeous. And I want someone to make it up and send me a photograph because I would love to see it. And of course, I'm just gonna um, say that there are so many colors of linen in the shop now. And also I have a couple of stripes as well in that would make beautiful summer dresses. But as you can see behind me, here's some of the colors that we have. This beautiful like fuchsia pink, hot pink it's called online, or a stunning bright turquoise there. But then we have some more muted tones like that's called summer peat, absolutely beautiful. And um, slate blue there as well. Lilac too. I know lilac is still a really popular color this year. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, video, the first video in the series of Sew the Brand. As I said before, if you have a brand that you would like me to try and pair um, patterns and fabrics for, then do drop it in the comments down below and I'll try my best to uh, do it for you. I do have a few that I plan on doing going forward and I'll probably come back to Reformation another time and some of the other brands another time at different times of the year because obviously in um, autumn and winter they're going to be having different uh, clothes on offer that again we could look at and see how could we make that ourselves. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and um, do consider subscribing if you enjoy these sorts of videos. And I will see you all again very soon.